Have you ever wondered where we, as a species, originally come from? In the vast labyrinth of our genetic makeup, there lie clues to our ancient origins, waiting to be discovered. Welcome to the fascinating world of human genetics. Imagine our genes as a vast library, each book a unique tale of our ancestors. Within this genetic library, Y-chromosomal haplogroups play a crucial role. Acting as genetic signposts, they help us trace the unbroken lineage of our male ancestors, painting a vivid timeline of human history. From the migration paths they took, to the civilizations they built, these haplogroups are akin to breadcrumbs left behind by our forefathers. And today, we're about to embark on an exciting journey, diving deep into the mysteries of our past. The focus of our exploration, none other than the intriguing Y-chromosomal haplogroup E1b1b. Our journey today takes us into the depths of one particular Y-chromosomal haplogroup, E1b1b. The roots of haplogroup E1b1b are ancient, tracing back to East Africa around 47,000 years ago. This genetic group, which is determined by specific mutations on the Y chromosome, is believed to have originated in East Africa, particularly the Horn of Africa, an area that includes modern-day Ethiopia, Djibouti, Somalia, and Eritrea. The history of E1b1b is a fascinating story of human migration and adaptation. Around the time this haplogroup emerged, the last ice age was receding, leading to significant changes in the Earth's climate and landscape. As the environment evolved, so too did the humans living within it, leading to the development of new genetic traits and groups. Haplogroup E1b1b is one such genetic group that arose during this period of dramatic environmental change. The individuals in this group were likely among the first to develop agriculture, a revolutionary development that allowed for population growth and the establishment of permanent settlements. But how did E1b1b spread from its origin in East Africa to other parts of the world? There are several theories about this. One of the most compelling is that the spread of E1b1b was closely tied to the out-of-Africa migration, the dispersal of modern humans from Africa to other parts of the world. The out-of-Africa theory posits that all non-African populations are descended from a single group of humans that left Africa between 50 and 70,000 years ago. As these pioneers ventured into new territories, they carried with them their unique genetic markers including those of haplogroup E1b1b. Over the millennia, descendants of these original migrants spread out across the globe, carrying their E1b1b lineage with them. The presence of E1b1b in diverse populations today, from the Berbers of North Africa to the Sephardic Jews of Spain and Portugal, is a testament to the incredible journeys of our ancestors. In conclusion, the story of haplogroup E1b1b is a story of survival, adaptation, and exploration. This haplogroup, E1b1b, would eventually spread across the globe, marking the journeys of our ancestors. As humans ventured out of Africa, so did haplogroup E1b1b. This intriguing genetic marker didn't just stay put, it took an adventurous journey along with our ancestors, spreading far and wide across different continents. Imagine if you will, the early humans embarking on this monumental journey. They left the familiar landscapes of Africa, carrying not just their belongings but also their genetic legacy, including E1b1b. As they moved, they spread this genetic marker along their paths, leaving a trail of genetic breadcrumbs that scientists today are able to trace. First, let's talk about Europe. It's believed that E1b1b reached Europe around 9,000 years ago. This migration was likely spurred by the advent of agriculture, which began in the Middle East and spread to Europe. It's quite fascinating to think that as our ancestors learned to farm, they were also unknowingly spreading their genetic heritage. Speaking of the Middle East, it played a significant role in the spread of E1b1b. The region acted as a crossroads of sorts, a meeting point for different groups of people. As they interacted, traded and intermingled, they also shared their genetic material. Over time, E1b1b became a common marker in the Middle East, and from there, it made its way to other parts of Asia. But the journey of E1b1b didn't stop there. As humans continued to explore and colonize new lands, E1b1b hitched a ride. It's believed that this haplogroup reached as far as the Pacific Islands, leaving a trace of African ancestry in populations thousands of miles away from the cradle of humanity. The spread of E1b1b is a fascinating tale of human migration, adaptation, and survival. It tells a story of our ancestors' journeys, their interactions, and their resilience. 
It's a testament to the innate human desire to explore, to seek out new horizons, and to make a home in new lands. E-1B1B is a testament to our species' innate desire to explore and settle new lands. As we uncover more about our genetic past, we gain a better understanding of our shared human journey. Did you know that haplogroup E1B1B has been found in some surprising places? Yes, that's right. This particular genetic marker has turned up in the DNA of some of history's most notable figures, revealing fascinating insights into the complex tapestry of human ancestry. Let's take a trip back in time to the era of Napoleon Bonaparte, the French military and political leader who rose to prominence during the latter stages of the French Revolution. You might be surprised to learn that Napoleon himself belonged to haplogroup E1B1B. This discovery made through the genetic analysis of a beard hair sample has sparked intriguing discussions about the origins and spread of this haplogroup. Another historical heavyweight who carried the E1B1B marker was none other than Albert Einstein. The theoretical physicist, best known for his theory of relativity, also carried this haplogroup. In Einstein's case, the E1B1B marker was traced via a relative, demonstrating how genetics can offer us a window into our past. These findings are not just historical curiosities, they highlight how the E1B1B haplogroup has traveled and diversified over thousands of years. From the heart of Africa, where it is believed to have originated, this haplogroup has journeyed across continents and seas, winding its way through generations to appear in the genetic makeup of individuals from diverse backgrounds. The discovery of E1B1B in these historical figures provides compelling evidence of the widespread distribution of this haplogroup. It serves as a testament to the migratory nature of our ancestors, and paints a picture of a world far more interconnected than we might think. So next time you delve into your family tree or ponder the mysteries of genetics, remember that our DNA carries the echoes of our shared history. It allows us to trace the journeys of our ancestors, uncovering surprising connections and revealing the threads that bind us together. From African warriors to European conquerors, E1B1B connects us all in a web of shared ancestry. Today, E1B1B continues to tell the story of human migration and evolution. This haplogroup, which found its origins in the heart of Africa, has journeyed far and wide. It's a genetic postcard if you will, bearing stamps of the places our ancestors visited and lived over thousands of years. Today the distribution of E1B1B is far-reaching and diverse. From the Berbers of North Africa to the Balkans of Southeast Europe, from the Amhara people of Ethiopia to a significant proportion of Jewish men, E1B1B is a common thread connecting us across continents and cultures. In Africa, E1B1B is particularly prevalent. It's a dominant haplogroup among the Berber populations in Morocco and Algeria, and it's widespread among Ethiopians, Somalis, and Sudanese. This is a testament to the ancient migrations that took place within the African continent, from the Horn of Africa to the Maghreb. In Europe, E1B1B has left its mark too. It's found in meaningful percentages among Greeks, Italians, and Albanians, painting a picture of ancient seafarers from the Mediterranean crossing over to Europe. It's also found in Jewish populations, suggesting a historical connection between Jewish communities and the African continent. But the distribution of E1B1B is not static. It continues to shift and evolve, just like us. Ongoing research into this haplogroup is helping us understand these shifts better. It's revealing how E1B1B populations have moved, mingled and adapted over time. This in turn is reshaping our understanding of human history and evolution. The story of E1B1B is not just about the past but also about the present and the future. As we continue to study this haplogroup we're uncovering fascinating insights about our shared human journey. We're learning how we're connected, how we've survived, and how we've evolved. And that's the beauty of E1B1B. It's not just a string of letters and numbers, it's a living, breathing narrative of our collective past, present, and future. The story of E1B1B is the story of us, a tale of journey, survival, and connection. As we delve deeper into our genetic past, what might the future hold? Imagine a world where our shared history is not just written in books, but also etched into our very DNA. The future of genetic research is teeming with potential, promising to deliver unprecedented insights into our shared human history. The science of tomorrow will continue to shed light on the mysteries of haplogroups like E1B1B. It's an exciting prospect akin to having a time machine at our fingertips enabling us to journey back into the annals of human history. 
With advancing technologies and methodologies, we might even crack open the genetic code of our early ancestors more comprehensively. Decoding secrets that have remained hidden for millennia, it's not just about understanding where we come from, but also about learning who we are, as individuals and as a species. As we continue to unravel the genetic code of humanity, who knows what fascinating stories we'll uncover next. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.